Hey Family Islanders! The family gets invited to Coral Island by Princess Ethel, but it isn't the vacation they expected. You may remember Princess Ethel from Lamp Island when she was trapped in a lamp. She needs help again. This time, Coral Island is in danger. Whirlpools have surfaced all around the island and the family has to act quick. The first task will be to reach and repair the destroyed sea gate. On the way, you'll need to clear the path. But it'll pay to be an overachiever as you make your way through the island because you'll need a bunch of storm coral, succulent seaweed and blue blossoms to make repairs and craft rainbow amulets. Repairing the gate gives the family access to the altar. After repairing it, you can craft rainbow amulets for 20 coral, 90 seaweed and 13 blue blossoms. It takes 5 hours to craft one. After making the first rainbow amulet, two tasks are given. One will be to fix stone plates, and the other will be to plug 8 whirlpools. Plugging the whirlpool is a dangerous job, so make sure to click it in the right place. You'll be able to access the other whirlpools as you make your way through the island. Following the stone plates quest and those that follow it could be a good strategy. Foraging and collecting items could cost some energy, but there's plenty to take advantage of too. There's tons of gifts hidden on the island even when the family arrives. There's more too! The island has four dolphin fountains that give energy every three hours. There's four of them throughout the island, and they'll provide an amazing source of energy in your exploration. As you make your way through the island, you'll also find a special red box. It contains one lunar elixir, among other resources, and costs 100 energy to open. Keep it safe, because you'll need it later on. As you progress, you'll need to make several repairs too. It is important to keep gathering the event items for most of these repairs. The family will then reach the destroyed sea gate. Behind the gate will be a second red box, which costs 100 energy to open, but gives the crown of the first nymph. This event item will also be helpful later on. The family then discovers a message in the bottle, which reveals that the witch from Lamp Island is behind the whirlpools on Coral Island. They gotta stop her! The family proceeds to the gates of the Worthy and tries to get the trident. It doesn't go as planned until Lizzie gives it a try. She manages to get the trident and becomes a sea princess. She then uses the power to free Ethel of her curse and take out the final threat, a sea tornado. In the end, Coral Island is saved, but there is still more to explore. Be sure to look around the island for hidden gifts and even explore the treasury. Lizzie even gets a sea goddess statue modeled after her. It gives 30 energy every 24 hours up to 25 times. The family also gets one of the amazing dolphin fountains from Coral Island. It gives 70 energy every 12 hours up to 5 times. But be sure to visit Coral Island every 3 hours until it ends. You can collect energy from all 4 fountains. That concludes Coral Island. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the latest Family Island news.